to One Left Gym. Time to do something with the stock emblem. And I read and noticed on some other videos that people were breaking the clips trying to remove this. I did think maybe you could get to the clips through the tailgate, but nope. You can just barely see one of the clips here, but there's no way to reach in and squeeze them to pop them out. You do have to go at it from the emblem side. There is some adhesive tape on the back, but I could feel it wasn't holding at all, so I didn't need to add any heat to loosen it. The trick is to get something thin and flexible, but still strong behind the emblem. I used some pieces of plastic, but I'd bet a credit card or driver's license would work too. I wouldn't recommend using those plastic panel pry tools as they're too thick. Some people are adding tape around the area to protect the finish, but I don't think this is necessary if you use the right tool. Just get whatever thin, flat plastic tools you're using on the top and bottom of each clip. Just push them toward each other to smush the clip together and the emblem will pop right out. My original plan was to just wrap this in black vinyl and then add a gray Ford decal over it. But since this thing is actually separate pieces, I thought I'd try to take it apart to wrap the pieces individually. To do that though, you have to scrape and cut away the plastic that was melted on the backside. Here I'm trying to get the thin oval blue ring freed up, and unfortunately I managed to break it in one spot. I used a large drill bit to help remove the excess plastic on the backside of the larger blue Ford logo piece. Here are the pieces after completely disassembling it. The wrapping idea just didn't work out at all. It's too hard to wrap the pieces separately, so I opted to go the painting route. I prepped the pieces by scuffing them first. The broken thin oval was fixed with some glue and spot putty. All the pieces were wiped down with isopropyl alcohol and then blown off before priming. If you're wondering, I didn't use any adhesion promoter because I didn't think it was super necessary on such a small part that won't be flexing. And since I was rushing to get this back on the Bronco, I also didn't wet sand the primer with 600 grit sandpaper like I normally would before painting. I just went right to painting. I already had a couple of spray cans of paint match cactus gray that I got for some other upcoming projects, so at least these pieces will exactly match the Bronco. You might disagree with me on this step. I use some crappy off-the-shelf flat clear coat to protect the pieces. I hate the off-the-shelf gloss clear coat. I also wasn't going to waste 20 plus dollars on a can of clear coat with hardener just for this. I have some of these cans and I plan to try to get multiple projects painted up so I could hit them all together. So I might come back and respray this with gloss later. The pieces went back together pretty good. There was enough plastic that wasn't cut or scraped away that they mostly snapped back together. Just in case, I added a little glue to the back. Not too much though, in case I want to get this apart again later. Since I removed the factory adhesive that wasn't doing anything, I added my own. After looking at the layer I put on compared to the clip's gasket thickness, I decided to add another layer so it would hopefully make some contact with the body. Reinstallation was as easy as you'd expect. It snapped right back in. I'm really pleased with the way it looks. Yes. And my wife's verdict? Yeah, she was really happy with it. And good thing too. I realized I never told her that I was going to paint it. The plan was to wrap it so that if she didn't like it, I could just do it differently. 
Now, what to do about this chrome horse? Well, that's all I got. See you later.